Okay, let's get started here with what I think is the easiest way to put web pages from your computer onto the internet. I've been looking for a long time for something that is this easy. So the first thing you want to do to get started is to download an application called Dropbox. Dropbox can be found by typing in a Google search window, Dropbox. The first link that comes up will have a variety of links here. Choose the first one here, Downloading Dropbox. When you click here, it will immediately start to download the application Dropbox to your Downloads folder. As you can see, it's beginning to download here. And while it's just coming down, I will just say that what Dropbox is going to do is it's going to allow you to um, its purpose is for you to be able to put things in this folder and as soon as you do they immediately upload to the internet on a storage um, facility at Dropbox. It allows you to back up documents and also have access to these documents from other computers and if let's say your computer should be dropped or broken or stolen you would be able to access these files. Well what we're going to do is we're going to use this as our web hosting site. Dropbox places a public folder on your computer and anything you put in there is accessible by anyone you give a link to. We're going to actually utilize this um, opportunity to host our website. So, first thing you're going to need to do is download Dropbox. Now I've already got mine downloaded and installed prior so I will not be able to go through the entire download and install sequence as you will. Okay now that things are downloaded here we will close our downloads window drag our Dropbox into the application folder as easy as that it's going to copy and we will then open Dropbox select open and you'll be prompted for a variety of questions and after the install is done you'll have something that will look like mine up here Dropbox ready to go so inside that Dropbox if you click on your menu item here you'll have something that looks like open Dropbox folder in there you will find a public folder Yours will be empty. Okay, now we're going to open iWeb. It should open up either to your site or if you haven't made an iWeb site yet, it'll open up to a theme where you'll pick and select a theme. I would go ahead and start with the welcome theme. Choose. And although this isn't a tutorial on iWeb, um, you can go ahead and play with that. We'll call this test and we're going to then go to site. The important part here is you want to select local folder as your option to publish. All right. And then an important part is to choose where we're going to put it. You're going to find on the left hand column here Dropbox and public. Inside public you want to create a new folder called iWeb and choose that folder. Okay, this is where your iWeb pages will publish. They will publish to your public folder in your Dropbox, which will be synced to the internet. And from there, we're going to go to File, Publish, Entire Site. With that done, we can go up to the Dropbox icon right here and select Open Dropbox Folder. Go into our public site, iWeb, Index File. This index file, we now want to right click, go to Dropbox, and choose Copy Public Link. This is the link that we will use to direct our domain to our web page. Okay, so from here we're going to go out to the internet and choose 
our next. What I'd like to do now is to go to any browser and in this URL erase and write dot period tk. That's dot period tk. Hit the return. Here I'd like you to choose web domain. When it comes to this page, you'll see that it has HTTP, www, and I want you to put the name that you'd like your web page, your domain to be. I'm going to choose web i web for us. Next. At this point, we want to choose free domain next now the Dropbox public folder link that we copied will place in here put your email address and the security code and next now we need to create a .tk account make sure that you use a valid email address It will send an email to your email and then you'll need to verify it. And then we're done. Okay, now check in your email. You'll see you'll have an email from a .tk registration. Click here. We copy the code that you find right here and we click on this site. Typing in your confirmation code here we have now confirmed and our .tk address is live. We should be able to go to iwebforus.tk and lo and behold our website that we have published to a folder on our Dropbox account is now on the web. Okay, so the beauty of this is that once this initial setup is done, that when using iWeb, updating to the internet is as easy as publishing an entire site or publish site changes to the folder on your computer. So if you can save to a folder on your computer, you can save your web page to the internet for all to see. Hope you enjoy.